Ladies and gentlemen, during Trump's defeat of Clinton, right after when he was about to enter the Oval Office in 2016, into 2017, there was surveillance of the executive office of the president, and this surveillance included an accusation by Michael Sussman, the attorney paid by Trump's direct political rivals, the Democratic Party and the Clinton campaign. They outsourced his law firm, Law Firm One, and I've been explaining that Law Firm One is being uh, looked at by the Durham Probe Special Counsel for a number of reasons. But Michael Sussman, along with Tech Executive One and a bunch of tech researchers from Georgia Tech, and other institutions claimed that Trump had a secret server. If you look, however, at this National Review article from, what, six hours ago, Durham Motion explains Sussman peddled purported Trump ties with phone records from the Trump, basically from when Trump was moving into the Oval Office in late 2016. Do you want to know what the accusation was? And the Federal Bureau of Investigation already found within the Sussman indictment that the claims were completely false. There was no evidence. Uh, They say the evidence was insufficient to charge or make any uh, indictments or utilize in any court case, which means that there was no evidence at all. Just like when the Mueller probe said the evidence was insufficient For this, this, that, that, this, this, insufficient evidence means there's no evidence to actually either investigate or utilize in a court of law. If there's insufficient evidence to utilize in a court of law, you shouldn't begin an investigation. And then they found out that the accusations of the Secret Server were based on a marketing, uh, an email marketing campaign from one of the software programs or, or something to do with just email marketing. But what they did was accuse Trump of having a secret back channel to the country that was supposed to have installed him, all right, the, the absurd hoax and myth that they fabricated, because, are you ready for this, because there was a phone, one or two people used a phone that was made in the country that, was alleg- that allegedly installed Trump, okay, the whole absurd myth that he was basically working on behalf of Moscow. So you had a phone that was made in that country, and because somebody or one or two people within Trump's team utilized a phone made in another country, simply a phone made in another country, that's it. You talk about xenophobia, you talk about like this paranoia, this absurd Red Scare McCarthy era madness. Democrats have basically have learned nothing about history. They're just trying, they've tried for the past five years, still continuing, to recreate this Cold War hysteria. And what they did was because of a phone, or because of a phone use from a couple people, one or two people within Trump's campaign, they said, well, that's a reason, that's one of the reasons to go ahead and investigate Trump. So special, so this is a, Durham, this is a uh, National Review uh, article. It's a very, very important segment, ladies and gentlemen. Hit subscribe to this segment right now. We are like literally about six or seven subs away from 196,000 subs. So you could be the 196,000 subscriber on H.A. Goodman. We're on our way to 200,000 subs, ladies and gentlemen, especially if you're watching in another country. I want to thank you so very, very much. Uh, tell your friends about this channel. Also, please, please, please subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel below. I talk a lot about not only the economy, the recession that we're heading into, and I predicted all of this in my Federalist article, so read the Federalist article below in the pinned comment. I talk about the hedge fund collapse and debacle that we're about to experience. It's going to be like 2008 all over again, unfortunately. Very likely worse. We didn't have the inflation that we had. We didn't have the inflation or the geopolitical nightmares we, had in two, we, we have today in 2008. 
And so I talk about that in the Stock Market Crash channel below in the pinned comment. Please subscribe there as well. But ladies and gentlemen, and if you want to support my work, my Patreon is below. But Special Counsel John Durham reports that internet communications records from the Executive Office of the President, EOP, essentially the White House, which Democratic lawyer Michael Sussman conveyed to the Central Intelligence Agency in early 2017, included data that, according to Sussman, tied then-President-elect Donald Trump to a Russian-made phone, okay, and derivatively indicated that Trump might have had a back channel for co covert communications with the Kremlin. The records were, let, were said by Sussman to be from December 2016, and there was also uh, surveillance and information obtained on Trump in February of 2017, when he was already, when he was already, um, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, already president. Okay, Durham proffered this information to a federal court in Washington, D.C. in a motion to admit evidence the prosecutor intends to offer a Sussman's criminal trial. Now, what they're trying to do, and what I've also talked about on this channel, is that they're trying to prevent evidence by saying, well, it's attorney-client privilege. You can't, they don't want, they have about 1,455 pages of documents linked to Fusion GPS, Law Firm 1, the Clinton campaign, and they want to say, well, look, this is, attorney-client privilege. You can't, uh, they're, they're trying to tell the court, well, you can't go ahead and obtain this attorney-client privilege. Only about 18 actually have to do with any, 18 pages or so have to do with directly with legal advice. But even legal advice, if, if, if an attorney is giving you legal advice and, and he or she is also trying to help you commit some kind of crime or act in an unethical manner, that's not attorney-client privilege. You can't just simply purchase dossiers or Alpha Bank uh, secret server hoaxes. You can't simply see what what Democrats, journalists at the Washington Post, New York Times don't understand is they've never actually read the actual indictments. The indictments explain that Durham, John Durham, has text messages, emails where all of these people are conspiring. They're talking about using dirty tricks. They're talking about appeasing the VIPs who paid them to just find something that they could pin on Trump. You cannot simply hire people to conspire uh, and to work, in, to work together to obtain information that's fabricated. You can't simply say, okay, we're going to just, we need a pretext so, you know what, that phone was made in Moscow, so you know what, um, it obviously has something to do with uh, Trump being installed by another country. You can't simply make those absurd leaps of logic. With Trump, because they despise him so much, I, I, I always say this, like, we have inflation through the roof, gas prices, energy prices through the roof, um, our economy's heading into a recession. That's why I say subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel. But all of these wonderful, morally superior, highly educated, really great, beautiful people who were liberal Democrats, they would rather have this terrible economy, geopolitical nightmares. They would much rather have all of this than Trump presiding over record low unemployment and inflation around 2%. And gas prices are what? Like less than $3. They would rather have all of this <coughs> catastrophe, this catastrophe, this, this terrible economy and nightmares in terms of geopolitics because they truly believe that he was installed by another country. And they believe this because they want to believe this. These are the same people who say, oh my God, oh my God, the conservatives, the, 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 these people believe in conspiratorial nonsense. It's like these people have, you have tens of millions of people in the Democratic Party or vote, who vote Democrat who believe that Trump was installed by another country. They don't understand that this hoax and myth was literally purchased by his direct political rivals. In this case, the, the National Review article talks about, well, one of the links Sussman and his team of researchers tried to make was that, well, he, he was using phones made in another country, so therefore he was installed by that country. And not only that, the Central Intelligence Agency found that it was completely fabricated, a lot of the information was just completely made up and fabricated because they couldn't find any dirt on Trump. The big issue is why government agencies accepted this. 
The reason, obviously, is because they were in on it too. But now they're going up. They're, 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 Durham is pitting government agents, uh, government agencies, and officials against the people that tried to. Right now, the story is they were deceived by Sussman. Sussman lied to James Baker. But really, Baker, Comey, Strzok, McCabe, Clapper, Brennan, all of these people were in on it. They just needed a pretext. That's why, like, when you see, like, in these authoritarian countries in years past, oh, we're going to investigate. Oh, we're just here to investigate. That's another way of tormenting somebody if they're innocent. And that's what, unfortunately, you had these officials do with Trump. Again, the authoritarians on the left, they're the ones who claim that Trump is the authoritarian, but they're the ones who acted in textbook definition as tyrants trying to set up and frame an incoming candidate because they just simply didn't like him. And they wanted something. They wanted some way to undermine his presidency. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel right now, ladies and gentlemen. You will probably be the 196,000th uh, subscriber. So hit subscribe right now if you've lasted this long.